Hi, YouTubers. Sissy Vet from My World of Metaphysics. And if you're wondering, are you going to be rich in this lifetime? What do God has planned for you in this lifetime? Are you going to be rich? Are you going to stay in the same situation that you're in right now? Or are you going to stay poor? Listen, I'm going to give you five signs, spiritual signs, that you're supposed to be rich or you're going to be rich in this lifetime. And then I'm going to throw in a couple of bonuses on things that you should be looking for in the physical that will indicate you're going to be rich. So watch this video all the way to the end. I'm always throwing extra tips in there to help you guys with your manifestations. Today, I'm going to give you that sign, those five signs that you're going to be rich in this lifetime. If you're new to this channel, this is a law of attraction, metaphysical channel that brings you life-changing information. And listen, you guys, I give you the information so that you can easily understand it, just like as if you're speaking to the girl next door. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and tap that bell to support this channel and join the family. Now, let's get started. I'm back. Now, what are the five signs that I'm talking about that indicate that you will be rich in this lifetime or are supposed to already be rich? Listen, I'm going to start off with the first one, and that is you just got this strong belief inside of you that you're supposed to be rich, that you're going to be rich. I mean, it's a feeling that, hey, look, I know I'm supposed to have more. I know I'm supposed to be way ahead of everything. And I don't know why I'm getting this feeling, but it's there. It is there for a reason. It's there because it's part of your subconscious mind, the universe telling you, you're supposed to have more. You're supposed to come here in this lifetime and have more. And that is one of the signs that I'm going to tell you that is the first sign that you should be looking for. It's a feeling of knowing you're supposed to be rich. Now, the second sign that I can tell you that will indicate that you're going to be rich in this lifetime, that is very powerful and is something that I use, and that is your dreams. If you do dream work, if you listen to your dreams and do dream recall, you will start to put together certain things that is going on or, or will go on in your lifetime. Dreams are one of the biggest indicators of how your life is going or what you should be doing. If you have a dream of flying, that is an indicator of reaching high depths, of going in a direction higher than the average person. If you have a dream of climbing, going up, being in a pool of water that is large, that is humongous, meaning a water on a ship, on a boat, something large, Anything in your dream, and it represents things that are really large, like you being in a large ocean with large fish, with large boats, climbing mountains, flying over things. These are indicating that you're supposed to or you will be rich at one point or another. Listen, you guys have to pay attention to these things because your subconscious mind is trying to reach you, trying to tell you, hey, look, you didn't come here for that. You came here to do more, but you got free will. Now, number three is your intuition. You're always getting ideas. Ideas keep popping up in your head. Hey, this. Oh my God, if I did this, I would make money. Oh my God, this is nice. And then you don't act on it. And then someone else does later on and you see that that person is now a millionaire. That is because the universe gives you ideas on what it is you came here to do, what it is you're supposed to be doing. And it's not just giving that idea to you. It's giving that idea to many people that want to tap into it. So when you get an intuitive idea about different things, these are indicators letting you know that you're tapping in to that large um, amount of information and you're supposed to be rich. You're supposed to be rich in this lifetime and, and or you will be rich if you're acting on it. Now, 
or is one of my favorites, and that's synchronicities. Listen, you guys, getting those feathers, those coins, those messages, hearing something in your ear, or keep running into the same person. Listen, you guys, nothing happens by accident. And I tell you guys this all the time. Nothing happens by accident. If you start going places, reading books, start noticing things that are not common, like you're reading a book on starting your own business and all of a sudden a feather comes down, like me. <laughs> or you go somewhere and you find a dollar on the ground or a penny on the ground or someone leaves a note on your car after you went into a business, um, a business deal and it says, God loves you. Those are messages from the universe letting you know whatever you're doing at that time you are on the right path. Why? It's because you're supposed to be doing something different. You're supposed to be at a different level. You came here to be rich, not only to be rich, but to help others. Now let's get to number five. Number five is similar to number one. And number one was belief. Number five is a gut feeling. It's a little different from belief because belief is like you're programming your subconscious mind that you're going to be rich. Your gut feeling is something that's coming from within saying, hey, look, you don't belong here. You're supposed to be doing this. You're supposed to be rich to help other people. This is what we place you here for. It's those people that work a certain job and just know deep down inside that they're not supposed to be there. You're doing a type of work and you know you're not supposed to be doing it. Or you're living a certain life and deep down you know there's a higher calling. Listen, this is your gut feelings telling you you came here to do something different. And again, you guys, don't get me wrong. Each and every one of us came here for something, okay? So all of us can tap into this energy. But when you get that gut feeling that you're supposed to be rich, that you're supposed to be doing something greater than what you're doing, act on it because the universe doesn't make any mistakes. Now let's move on to the physical signs, signs or characteristics that you will be rich in this lifetime. Number one is always taking action. Always being persistent in the things that you want. Going out saying, hey, look, I'm going to do this and being persistent at it. Not saying one thing one minute and another thing another minute. You know you're going to be rich and you're going to stick with whatever it is you're doing because you know it's going to pay off. Listen, that's for a whole lot of you investors out there, you cryptos out there, all the people out there that's doing their thing and say, hey, look, I'm not backing out because I know this is going to work. And listen, that is a powerful sign that you will be rich. Now, number two is you guys always have creative ideas. It's almost like the intuition that we spoke about earlier. Creative ideas meaning you can take something and make it like, wow. And everybody say, whoa, how would you come up with that? It's because you inside have the ability to use your creativity and use it to move forward. And that is what's going to turn you into that millionaire, turn you into that rich person. Why? Because you're thinking outside of the box. You're thinking beyond the average person. And that is what's going to get you there. Number three is you're not afraid. You're not afraid to take action. You're not afraid to do whatever. A lot of people, when they say they want to be rich or they think they're going to be rich, they always stop where it comes to taking action. These people sit there and say, they get afraid. They say, ah, side of their minds, they don't do anything. Why? Because it all boils down to fear. If you are going to be rich in this lifetime, and if you are supposed to be rich, you will not be afraid. You will take charge of your life and move forward knowing that everything is a life experience and there's nothing to be afraid of, okay? And it takes me right into number four. Number four is people that are supposed to be rich or will be rich in this lifetime, when they fall down, they get back up and they keep moving. They do it because they know 
it's a life experience and that everyone falls down. But the whole thing is you're not a failure until you refuse to get back up. If something happens in your lifetime, you know, hey, look, this is just a moment. I'm getting up and listen, I'm jumping right back in there. It's almost like the person that's going riding on a horse and they fall off. The person that would succeed is the person that gets back up and get back on that um, horse. Again, these are the signs that you will become rich. Don't change who you are. Just keep moving forward and you will be an inspiration to others to follow. Okay, everyone, see that from my world of metaphysics. And this is a law of attraction, metaphysical channel that brings life-changing information. Listen, support this channel, join the family by liking, subscribing, and tapping the bell. Follow me at myworldofmetaphysics.com where you can have one-on-one -on -one coaching from me or reading. You can also go to store.myworldofmetaphysics.com where you can buy crystals and candles and sage and incense thing for your spiritual needs. Again, this is Yvette and namaste.